it's so weird. I keep finding just random screws on the table every time I come in here. I mean, what are you unscrewing? I don't know. I don't know where these screws came from. <laughs> it's a I've, fucking. I, it's I've, a fucking warning. Like I seriously have two, like gold color screws here that are sitting. I don't know where these came from. It's a ghost. And that you know, now that I'm thinking about it, that kind of worries me a bit. Like because you know how I told you about how somebody was in my apartment, or at least I was sure that somebody was in my apartment uh, because you know the little plate that my bedroom doors. Uh, whatever the thing is, latches to. Yeah, it was reversed. That is still creepy as fuck. Yeah, like like it's really. I'm telling you, you have a ghost in this apartment, and it's leaving your screws on the table to let you know you're screwed. <laughs> it's uh, the ghost of Ron's disappointment. No, oh. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't like think it, that's a ghost. I think that's no, that's just Ron. <laughs> oh fuck! But uh, yeah, like I, I don't. That that was weird. And honestly, this screw right here looks like. It could have come from a door. Yeah. And that makes me a little worried because it's like, where would it have come from? So now when we're done here, I'm going to make sure I go around to my throughout my apartment and check. It's the ghost letting you know anytime I can take your screws out. <laughs> Just, you can't fuck with me. That's creepy as fuck. You I'm need a get, nest cam. I'm going to get some fucking super glue. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll fucking show you. You're, you know. Anyway, how you guys doing today? Hey, everybody. Just I'm, us today. Yep. It's Joe. I'm Luke. And, uh, you know, we're we're just going to, you know, welcome to the Ungodly Geeks podcast, I guess I should say. You know. mm-hmm. um, today, I guess, we we had a topic, to, uh, a plan for the week, uh, where we were going to play some older, like an older retro game. We each chose a retro game, or not necessarily retro, just old, and we were going to play it and review it. Uh Unfortunately, this week I was really fucking busy, and I didn't get to play it quite as much as I would have liked. Uh, Luke played through his though, but his I did. Was, his was short as hell. I, uh, I it was funny trying to find the game. I decided I really wanted to go on the Switch Marketplace, right. which I actually I really hadn't checked out in a while. So I get on there, um, and I'm looking. I'm thinking I'm going to find something like an old Nintendo game, something like that. And or an RPG. That's really what I wanted to do. Was play right, like yeah. a uh, an older RPG, and realized not a good idea because it would have been way too time consuming. Which is exactly what both Ron and Joe wanted to do. Well, what is what what was Ron's game? Uh, originally, he was going to get a. I think he said a Final Fantasy. No, no, I suggested Final Fantasy okay. to him because I I, get, I had Final Fantasy VII on my Vita, and maybe like, dude, do you want to just play through that a little bit? Like that's not a game you need to complete. No, no, and that's what I. One of the things I said is we don't have to complete our games, right? But I ended up could not find anything. Um, but there's tons of Neo Geo games, and while I've never owned a Neo Geo, um, I've played some of the games. Uh, apparently, that console was made if you like fighting games and uh, scrolling shooters. Yeah, that's because like, like 90% that's that, what's on there. That's pretty much its whole library. Yeah, so it's I like, found... It's like not even... like For the Switch or screen, you would, I personally would prefer like a, a horizontal or yeah. a, I guess... Yeah, a horizontal Left scrolling right shooter. Scro- yeah, yeah. Whereas most of them seem to be a vertical sh- shooter. It's like, no. Yeah, they're the... the not top down, bottom. Well, yeah, you're facing. Well, they're all yeah, yeah. They're above. top down. You're right. Yeah, 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 top down. Whereas, which were fun in the arcade. Side, side scrollers are better, in my honest opinion, on a, sc- a, a, a wide screen. Yeah, I like the so, Switch's screen. Yeah, but, playing it on a TV though. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, kind of limited choices, but what I did find, um, uh, there's a couple. You know, they have decent games on there. I assume I never played them. One of them was a release title for the Neo Geo that uh, was like. Uh, oh, what was it called? It was something like um, um, Mage Boy or some. It had like a, some weird title like that, and I almost got that until I saw that it was a launch title, and figured, uh, no, I think I'm gonna not not do a launch Neo Geo game, considering no. that they're not all that high quality to begin with, even in the later years. It's exactly. Like, yeah. Exactly. It uh, it, it was not something that I uh, I really wanted to like fight my way through. Um, so so what did you end up getting? So I ended up getting um, adventure uh, adventure Johnny. I think is what it was called. Oh no no no, I'm sorry. It was called Spin Master. 
It's a ACA Neo Geo Spin Master. Okay. And I believe it must have also come out in the arcade because it, it has a coin insert coin. Right. Um, right. Yeah. I mean, a lot of button. I think a lot of Neo Geo games were uh, were arcade ports. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was a little more. If I recall my console history correctly, it uh, the Neo Geo uh, was a little more powerful than like the Super Nintendo and stuff like that. Uh, but it just didn't have. For some reason, it didn't have the party support that the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis had. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, I mean, the games. The game's interesting, right? The uh, and that that's what I ended up picking because it looked like a it's a side scrolling beat 'em up type game. And I won't go too deep into it because I do still want to use it next episode. Maybe the problem was I beat it in like two and a half <laughs> hours. Bless you. Thank you. But uh, <laughs> yeah, see, I I chose Breath of Fire originally. Yeah. And which I mean, okay, not a big deal, except uh, I don't, I'm sorry if I offend any of the fans, but that game sucks. Yeah, it's it's so slow. It, it like it took it took me because I I my attention span just wasn't there for that game. Mm-hmm. It it took me about uh, two or three hours to get through the opening sequence because every time I'd start it, I I would just I would shut it off. <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't do it, man. So I was like, okay, I'll try something else. So I ended up grabbing Legend of the Mystical Ninja, and uh, I'm still gonna have to play it, but <clears throat> so far is is way better. Yeah, um, at least for what we're trying to accomplish. I think I'm not gonna say that Breath of Fire is a bad game, but it, it for me it was uh, it was too slow in the beginning. So I, I, I mean, it's it. like Final Fantasy esque. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, like turn based RPG. I, right? I have no idea. I never got that far. Oh God. Like I got to a point where I was running around the town you start in, and I just couldn't keep going. Yeah, I was bored to fucking it's too tears. Too typical. Yeah, yeah, I was I was so bored to tears. So I mean, I'll give the game another shot. I'll give the game a fair shot later. But right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip it. Yep, yep. But uh, we're not gonna talk about that stuff today. Nah, at least because not the whole because time. like I said, Ron, uh, whatever. So. Uh, Today we get we got a few things we want to just discuss some news topics. Um, for example, the Switch is become the fastest selling console, outpacing even the Wii and the PS2 in like thirteen markets or something like that. It's like Italy, United States, uh, Germany, yeah, a bunch of other uh, Japan, and that's is the like, big one. Is that yeah, outselling outpacing the Wii and like the PS2 and the PS4 in Japan or yeah. three. That's whatever or the matter. DS. Yeah, it's like, fucking crazy. It, it is currently the fastest selling console, and that's that's amazing because the Switch is Switch is so awesome. Like it's one of those things that one hundred percent deserves all the success it's getting, and all the hype. All the hype is, dudes. If you don't have a Switch and you're listening to the hype, and you're like, I want one. Let me tell you guys, it's it's worth it. It really, yeah. really is worth it. I've like, got friends that don't that don't game too often, and definitely like you know, I haven't played a Mario since fucking super mario right right that uh have asked me like hey you know you play switch is this is it worth it and stuff And i'm like totally and they've gotten the switch picked up mario mario kart zelda different games and they're like this this is legit this is this is the shit let me all right so if there's anybody on the fence let me tell you the story of how i got my switch Luke, have I told the story on air? I, don't I believe remember. you have. I, early on, we talked about this. Okay, well, I'm going to tell it again because <laughs> we're talking like a year ago. So, Switch drops. It drops the day before my birthday, right, guys? I pre-ordered it on Amazon like in like the month, month or two ahead in advance. Um, I'm sitting there. I'm I'm keeping an eye on it. Amazon finally sends me the email the week of its release saying, hey, we're about to ship it. I'm like, oh, fucking yes. Hey, yes, yes, yes. I'm super excited because I'm off the day. I'm off the day it's, it releases, so I'm going to fu- – we're going to record the podcast, and then I was going to spend the rest of my day just playing Zelda Yeah, because I pre-ordered Zelda with it because, duh, who the fuck you – know, why wouldn't I? Yeah. So I'm sitting there. I'm I'm tracking the package. It hasn't shipped yet. It's the day before it's supposed to be sh- delivered to me. It hasn't shipped yet. I'm looking – Okay, what the fuck's going on? The only way they can get it to me at this point is if they deliver it themselves. Little did I know that they were rolling out their own delivery service at the time, Amazon Logistics. So, I'm sitting there. It says it's finally released. Gave me a tracking number. I didn't know what the fuck to do with it, but I eventually found out that it was, like I said, Amazon Logistics. 
so I'm sitting there and I'm waiting and I'm waiting, and then it's around uh, ten ten fifteen. Mm-hmm. It gets delivered around like fifteen minutes before I I know it's been delivered. I'm looking. What the fuck? Well, no, no, nobody rang my doorbell. No one hit the buzzer. So I run downstairs thinking it's going to be sitting there on the floor waiting for me or something. Nothing. Mm-hmm. Nothing at all. So I go up back upstairs. I grab my keys. I grab my phone. I go outside. I'm looking all around the fucking apartment. I don't have my shoes on. I'm in my socks. I'm like, no, I want this. I want this so bad. Yeah. Because it's Friday. It's the day it was supposed to release. And... It's the next day is my birthday. This was before we were recording the podcast, by the way. And I'm sitting there like, oh, where is it? Where is it? Fine. I, I, 10 minutes of searching. I come to the conclusion something is wrong. Something is not, it's not here. It's not someone stole it or something like that. Call up Amazon, explain to them what happened. Lady's like, did you check this? Did you check that? Eventually got my refund. Yeah. Okay. So Amazon dicked me out of my fucking switch that I pre-ordered and fully paid for. On yeah. the day it was supposed to be released. So it was my birthday present to me. <laughs> and they're like, no, you don't fucking deserve it. I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. But Get my money back. What was funny about that, too, was I still remember you telling me, you were like, you're on the phone with Amazon. She's like, go here, check this, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, I went there, I checked again. And then she's like, oh, okay, well, this happens all the time. Here's your money back. Yeah. It's like, uh, uh, can I get a switch? No, we're out. <laughs> like, Fuck you. <laughs> no, I, I don't want my money back. I want the fucking thing I paid it was, for. It was like, nope. Yeah, okay, it so, happens all the time. Like, really? So At this point, it didn't matter. I accepted the fate. Yeah. So it took, like, I think it was like that Tuesday. Well, meanwhile, that night it also released at Walmart. That's true. I had I not pre-ordered it and no intentions of really picking it up. Because at the time, I thought the Switch was going to be a dud. Lo and behold, the, the reports of how good Breath of the Wild had been coming out. And uh, that's when I was like, oh, damn, I really want one. No chance in hell I thought I was going to get one that night because obviously they'd all be sold. Yeah. Um, because we had people waiting in line and right, everything. Right. Well, one of the guys who works at the store on maintenance had come in on his day off and bought a Switch. Right. And then hung out with another employee at lunch, messed with it a little bit, decided I didn't, he didn't like this and brought it back and was like, hey, can I return this at that night? And I'm like, um... Yes, yes, you can. I will return this switch for you. I, I had the manager, like, got approval, so I'm not going to get in trouble for doing a return. And then I immediately bought the fucking switch. Which I don't blame him for. <laughs> no. So Luke got lucky with his, but so we're going to get back to mine now. Yeah. So basically what happened was the, it, took a, it took a few days. I think it was like that Tuesday. The mm-hmm. money was back on my car, my credit card. I'm like, okay, I, I got to have this thing. I really, really wanted it. This was supposed to be my birthday present to me. I want to play Breath of the Fucking Wild. I want to play this game. So I start scouring eBay. I start looking on eBay for whatever I can find that is reasonably priced. Nothing five or six hundred dollars. Yeah, not the asshole scalpers who are going right. insane amounts. Basically I found a less of an asshole scalper who was selling just the tablet, just just the switch itself, no Joy Cons, no dock, no charger, nothing, just the switch. And he was selling it for what I thought was a fairly reasonable price compared to the scalpers, $330. So with tax and shipping, it ended up being like, actually, I don't even think it was 330 but I know it ended up paying $342 for just the Switch tablet. Hmm. So it shipped. I got my tracking number. It was supposed to come on like a Wednesday. So I sat there. I ordered Joy-Cons from Walmart.com. They were they they were arriving on Wednesday as well, because again we were sold out of everything right. associated with the switch. So they came they were they were due to come in Wednesday. Well, the switch ends up coming a day early, mm-hmm. so I'm like, oh fuck. And by this time we had gotten Joy Cons back in stock in store. So I said, fuck it, went and bought a <laughs> bought a set from the store. Funny. And then when my new set came in, I just returned that set, got my money back, and now I had a I had my I had my I had everything I wanted. Well. In that time frame, I'd also bought a copy of Breath of the Wild and a copy of, uh, or in a charger. So at this point, $342 for the Switch. Another $76 for the uh, Joy-Cons. $30 for the charger. 56 bucks for the game. Yeah. In case you're doing the math there, I'm in this over $500 now. <laughs> 
just to play Breath of the Wild. And let me tell you, it was fucking worth every penny. I've invested into this so far. I eventually bought the dock. The dock was another 80 bucks. I bought another set of Joy-Cons, yet another 80 bucks. And I've bought like 15 games since the Switch has released. Yeah. Mario Kart, uh, of course, Breath of the Wild I bought. I bought... Uh, uh, Mario. Yeah, it was Super Mario Odyssey. I had to get that. Yeah. Oh, man. And I got to say, if you were on the fence, it is 100% worth it. And the trouble that I went through to get mine, I wouldn't go through it again. But I don't regret you know, spending 650 goddamn dollars on my Switch. Which is about what I ended up spending... Which means, looking back, I probably should have just bought one of the scalped ones. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but then you might have ended up buying, like, the controllers anyway, and yeah. you'd be in it seven, $800. Yeah, but I would have only had to buy one set of controllers rather than two. That's true, but you would have bought more. I mean, maybe. <laughs> I mean, I, I only I have the red and blue, and then I have the gray, and then yeah. I put the Zoda skin on, did which I, is actually really, really nice. Did I sell you my copy of Breath of the Wild? No, I bought it. Okay, because I, I know it from, I bought it from work because it was it was one of those things where there were like two or three copies left. Yeah, and I'm like I should buy mine while I can. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You still have yours, or you lost well, it, or here's something. Here's the thing: I bought I bought a copy. Of, I know I got a copy the night I bought the Switch. Right. Um, didn't you pre-order a copy and forgot about it? No, that was uh, I didn't forget about it. That was Amazon not sending me my copy of. Uh, um, Twilight Princess. Oh, okay. till two days after the fucking launch. So I bought a copy at Walmart and returned That's right. the yeah, uh, yeah, pre-ordered yeah. copy. Yeah, at Walmart. No, mm-hmm. what I did was I bought. Um, I did buy Breath of the Wild that night, and then later on, I'm walking through the back, and the electronics person brings out uh, two of the collector's editions. Oh yeah, yeah. That uh, I had I. Uh, again, was convinced there's no way that those would be in stock still. So I immediately grabbed one of those, returned my copy of the six no, game, no, and um, got this collector's edition. Honestly, I'm gonna like collector's editions are not something we sell at a lot of actually. No, not anymore. Like very no ever. Yeah, we've never like when I say we've never sold them, I don't mean we've never gotten them in stock. I mean we've never sold them. Yeah, we've people gotten that, them and they don't. The very people, often, so. yeah, the people we that cater that we cater to do not buy collector's editions. Like they don't care. Like I mean, I will say it's only specific instances where we do sell them. Again, yeah, like Legend of Zelda, we only had like four of them, and they did sell out. I bought one yeah. of them. Um, but you know, a game you would expect to sell out. Like Halo, Call of Duty. No, actually, I would World of Warcraft. We we don't sell those we, because we got so many of those. We did. I don't. I no, don't. No. 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 Don't, don't tell me we got those. I was working in the department when we. Well, when either we, way, I don't expect those we got. To sell out we got anymore. five or six of those. We yeah. sold out of the game, but we still had the collector's edition. Well, that's the thing is those collector's editions don't come with anything anybody wants. You got to go to like. Uh, we bring it up all the time, The Witcher, mm. or uh, Doom 3 Collector's Edition to come with the statue. That was Doom 4. Or, that was four. Doom 2016, sorry, yeah. Um, Which I did Or buy. Breath of the Wild came with a case, a CD. It came with like four or five extra things right. that above just the game, an art book, and what else those shitty fucking Collector's Edition um, come with? Steel tins and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, like it's a collector. steel case. And yeah. Oh, it's the Collector's Edition. No, like, like, um, like the Fallout Collector's Edition. Yeah. We sold out of those because it came with a fucking lunchbox and a bobblehead. Right. Well, those collector's editions, those better ones, I fully expect the Call of Duties to sit there, the Halos to sit there, except for Halo 3 because the helmet was actually kind of cool. We we didn't sell out of those either. You didn't? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know the GameStop I went we to. Had, we had, we got two in, mm-hmm. and four years later, we still had two. Yeah. <laughs> And I think what we ended up doing was marking them down to zero and sending them back or throwing them away or something because we can't move them. Even though yeah. they came with the helmet, it didn't matter. It's like when we got the uh, that World of Warcraft. Uh, oh, the giant of, box they yeah. have. Yeah, no, those. I'm not surprised. Which I mean, uh, why why are we getting yeah. those? Like I said, our our customers they don't care about that. They want yeah. the game. The only reason the Circuit City I worked at sold out of the World of Warcraft. And I think it, it wasn't Burning Crusade. I don't remember which expansion. I think it was like the third expansion. The only reason we sold out of them was because uh, myself and like four other employees bought them. Right. I mean, we we don't we just don't we don't sell them. No one cares. No. But collector's okay. systems aren't 
really, in most cases, aren't great anymore anyway. Right. Like I said, there's those few examples of them being cool, but... I mean, yeah, you're going to have it like like the Revenant statue with Doom 2016 is the greatest thing ever. Yeah. Which, by the way, I have a horror story about that, too. I bought that off of Amazon. And, oh, yeah, that uh, didn't show up either. Did yeah, it? that never showed up. Mm-hmm. And so they overnighted me another one. Uh, the first one shipped via USPS, mm-hmm. which I've never had a problem with them until then. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, USPS, it just never showed. It got into the city, into the, the sorting. Um, I think got to the sorting stage and then just vanished. Yeah, it stopped updating completely, and then uh, when I when I asked uh, Amazon about it, they overnighted me a new one, and I didn't have to worry about the old one. Mm-hmm. Like you know, say what you want about them, they do have excellent customer service. Yeah, it'll Amazing. take care of you eventually. I mean, the the fact that they're like, oh, yep, eh, sorry, you didn't get it. Here's your money back. Like, there's no question is cool, and at the same time, like, you know, you guys could fucking tell them to like get signatures for shit. Yeah, which I mean. Everything I get shipped to me now, mm-hmm. I, I I try to make sure that it does require some verification like that. Mm-hmm. And you know, like like I switched to Sprint recently because they've got a one year. Well, you get a they got a promotion where you get a year of free unlimited everything. They made me sign for this SIM card. That's crazy. It's a two dollar SIM card. Yeah, I paid f- five times the cost of the SIM card just to ship it. Yeah, it's like, and they made me sign for that. <laughs> like they manufacture millions of those a day people throw them away it's like yeah you got to sign for the sim card yeah so hey what up uh whatever <clears throat> some uh some, another piece of news uh yeah big uh, the uh nintendo 3ds has had its oh i, I was gonna go to that but yeah yeah well i mean it's, it's in the same story as what yeah. we were just talking about the switch um the 3ds has had its strongest december since 2014, selling yeah. 750,000 units. Which is crazy. So the, yeah. the what we said last week about the uh, Switch taking over the 3DS market is completely bullshit, <laughs> apparently, because it's doing better than that. Yeah, no, I, I 100% accept that I am wrong. Although, yeah. um, to be fair, it was all anecdotal. Yes, yeah. I said that it was just it, for you. Yeah, it's taken over. It's taken all of my time away from my 3ds. In fact, right now my Switch has 90 percent of my time, with five percent going to my 3ds, four percent going to my Vita, and one percent going to my PC. I haven't played a fucking PC game in a month. Yeah, and aside from uh, firing up Metro 2033 just to play around with it, make sure that I could stream it right. Last night, I haven't done a goddamn thing on my PC. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we're going to talk about Nintendo Labo. Oh, yeah. This that, this is insane. That is interesting. I, I yeah. So, in case you haven't heard yet, Nintendo is, is launching this weird program called Labo. It's a... You basically get a kit yeah. of various pre-cut, pre-constructed... Car, pre-cut uh, cardboard cutouts that, when you put together, can make things like fishing rods or pianos... Little like, like typewriter little, looking things, houses, bird look looked like bird houses, little cars that can roll around. It's yeah. like like little robots and shit. It's like holy shit, it's nuts. You then connect the put your um you put your Joy Joy Cons or sometimes the, the switch itself. Switch, yeah, yeah. Put it inside of them, and then you have instead of just playing a game, you now have a physical element to that, a toy, yeah. to go along with it. So there's like, you, some of them are little robots you control yeah. with the uh, yeah, Switch like, itself. Like the little cars. You yeah. can control the little car. Like, like you can actually put your Joy-Cons into a little construct where you can pilot a fucking like tank-like car thing around. Yeah. Which is like, dude, this is awesome. It's crazy. There's they have they had they had the fishing one which you play a fishing game yeah. on the Switch itself which was interesting. Yeah. The craziest one is the final one they show. The, the and VR they keep, one? Yeah. They yeah. keep clipping back to this person that looks like they're putting on a whole backpack yeah. and then it switches back and then it switches back and they're putting like fucking they've got hand things. Yeah. And it switches back and then they're putting on a fucking VR mask with the Switch and it switches back and then at the final the final thing it shows is this kid punching in the air with the joy cons like he's fucking fighting something yeah and it's a vr game where you're a fucking robot like optimus prime punching through buildings and shit it's like like think of a uh, blast core but you're you're the one doing yeah it. yeah like it was yeah. insane and I, then they showed the inside and it's all pulleys and strings inside the backpack yeah 
I was like, dude, that's this amazing. is insane. Like they're playing piano with the piano one. Yeah. The, I don't know what the house one does. I just know they shoved the fucking Joy-Con in the in the roof. And I'm like, I'm assuming, okay, you play house. I don't get it. Whatever. <laughs> does it I don't vibrate care. and the I'll, house fall apart? I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll play it. <laughs> I'll I mean, see what it does. I want to know. I'm curious. Like it was, it, it, it's one of those times where you, we, we even were watching the direct. I was like, "Oh, we got to check this shit out." And we're at work, not fucking around. Yeah. So I'm like, "Let's see what bullshit Nintendo's doing." It's supposed to be a kids thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm expecting a fucking Sesame Street game or some shit. Nope. And then this like crazy. It's like every, Microsoft, Sony, everyone else needs to look at Nintendo now and be like, "Okay, we tried to copy the Wii." This is all you. You win. You win the creativity award. We're done. Microsoft just needs to stop trying. Sony, stop trying to be creative. Yeah. Nintendo has won. You you can't. You, you just can't. Do you, your own thing. But you killed the the Kinect. Has died twice on yeah. two different systems. Horrifically. Yeah. The, Sony, you didn't even try with the fucking move the second time. Don't yeah. play. Yeah. Seriously, it was. Terrible. You both need to quit it. it. It's just bad. But you know what? I will give the Kinect. Um. Or it's not. A bad piece of hardware at all. It's an amazing. No, it's very interesting. It's, a, it's just it's an they amazing can't piece support of, it. Well, yeah, it's an amazing piece of tech, though, and the fact that uh, it has had applications outside of gaming and yeah. therefore has been actually useful. Yeah, I'll give it that much. But like, the PlayStation Move, it's dead. Yeah, the Move's dead. I, their VR, I think, is actually pretty decent um, um, when it comes to VR. Yeah. you know, low cost. Uh, it's like, hey, cool. It's low Keep cost. That. It's actually decent too. Like, yeah, yeah it's actually decent quality. Combine I wish, that with the move, and maybe dude, you got something. If it worked on PC, I'd buy it today. Buy a PC yeah, or a Sony VR. Yeah, because yeah. it's it's way cheaper than an Oculus Rift or a Five. Yeah. They're, oh, they're coming out with a wireless Five. Yeah, yeah. Which is um, cool. Well, they're also coming out with a, a, a mobile Oculus, which is kind of nice. Uh, mm-hmm. Xiaomi is is the one manufacturing it. Mm-hmm. Although, um, it's kind of odd that we have superior processors available mm-hmm. like the snapdragon 835 which is in my phone because uh, instead of going with that for some reason they're choosing to go with the 821 mm-hmm. which is a nice processor but it's like and it might just be availability and cost mm-hmm. and which kind of like sense. the switch didn't go with right well yeah it went off it went with off the shelf uh tegra x1 parts because they were readily available and cheap and fucking powerful mm-hmm. Um, so it might be because of that, and it's definitely going to bring the cost down. But uh, and the A twenty one, I'm not going to take anything away from it. It's one hundred percent VR capable. Pardon me. Um, it's I think if I recall correctly, and I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure the A twenty one is what's in the I want to say the Pixel and the Pixel XL. Mm-hmm. And I don't know about the Pixel, but I know the Pixel XL is VR supported. Like you can yeah. put it in an Android cardboard and use it as a VR headset. Mm-hmm. So um, it's not a big deal. Like it's perfectly fine. I just thought it was really odd in this in this day and age where we got like the 835. We're about to release the 845, and they're way way more yeah. robust. But like I said, it's, it's going to do the job fine. Now, are we talking? This is like a full mobile version. Like <clears throat> you can take this outside um, mobile VR. I, I I don't know. Okay, because I, I really don't want to see people walking down the street I, uh, playing some of these VR ports and I games. Mean, <laughs> I I don't think it'll be like that. I think give me a great sketch on Saturday Night Live, but I I don't think it'll quite be like that level of mobile. <laughs> I think it'll be more like okay, this is this is more wireless and this is a little more. It's easier. Yeah. It's cheaper. It's lower end. So yeah, I mean, it'll be fine. Guy walking down the street with his waifu next to him. <laughs> oh, it's Daimakura. Oh, God. Dakamura in the end. Oh, man. No. <sighs> wow. The end of the world. It's the end of days. I yeah, no. When, when, you, when you see a guy, you know, doing that, like, okay, unless it's like Dr. Krieger from Archer where he built that thing and oh, it's yeah. a full interactive That's hologram with, like, Human level AI, like first we're going to dolls in the sex dolls. This is the year of the sex dolls. Have you dolls. seen the sex doll? Oh yeah, my god, the crazy fucking sex dolls. That is nuts. And then man. we're going to go it, 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 combine that with VR, and then we'll have androids in like four years, and then the yeah. human race will be expunged. I give us another like like the way things are pacing right now, and the way things are increasing, and how machine learning is getting better in AI. I give us twenty, maybe thirty years tops until yeah. we're able to do uh, at least low level human intelligence. Yeah, like, it, and I maybe another 
20 or 30 years beyond that before we have full human AI simulation type shit, it's mm-hmm. going to be nuts. Yeah, a few years before that, we're not going to have kids through pregnancies anymore. We're going to be growing them in labs. <laughs> we'll be done. Good, we'll go. because, you know... Pregnancies are dangerous. They hurt. They ruin the human body. Next step of evolution, take the you know DNA from the mother and the father. They... You know, pick what they want the kid to have. Speaking then... of uh, speaking of which, something that that it is related to that. Something mm-hmm. I found interesting is uh, recently researchers were able to construct a fella's DNA. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, yeah from like two hundred years ago, from descendants, mm-hmm. like his full DNA sequence from from uh, his family members. Yeah, which I'm finding like that's mind blowing. That's, to me. that's crazy. And on top of that, that's like that's some like uh, Assassin's Creed shit right there too. Yeah, yeah, like, a little like, bit. Like that's nuts, man. Mm-hmm. I love that. Um, so, That'll yeah. be ancestry's next big thing. Yeah, is you can see your grandpa, <laughs> like reconstruct your grandpa in VR based on your DNA. And oh shit. no! Oh god, no! They're yeah. dude. They're already like at the point now where we're we're like a year away from full vocal. Um, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. Like, uh, we'll be able to fake voices. Like, damn! Like ninety nine point nine nine percent. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, realistically. I mean, so anything, any, any, in two years, any time you see a news report of listen to what the president said on this phone call, will be like immediately have to be fact checked and have to be found out because most likely it'll be faked. I don't know. It's Donald Trump. Uh, you can't tell what's well, fake. Well, that's what I'm saying. A few years from now, I mean, it, it, but this will be anybody. I, I, yeah, I, I get what you're saying, but it's like, like with Donald Trump, you. It's hard. <laughs> to, it, it really is hard to tell what he said versus. What was real and what was like it? It's I heard so the shithole diff- thing and went, "No, nah, I don't think so." There's no way he said that. No. And then it comes out, "No, yeah. he really said he that." Said that I was like, "All right," because the White House never denied it in their statement. Part of part of my part of me is kind of like, well, I mean, the president said shit. That's kind of cool, <laughs> and it's kind of stupid at the same time. <laughs> He shouldn't be caught saying that, should he? Like, I know the presidents are going to say shit like that. Well, I mean, yeah, they're only human. Yeah, like, wasn't wasn't but at Nixon the same time, known to fucking swear like a sailor? Probably. Somebody, somebody I wouldn't doubt that. I, I don't know why. I'm I I, that, I admittedly am not as. I am brushed, not a crook. You I'm, fucking horse. I am not as brushed up on my presidential history as I would like to be. I need to watch some documentaries on but, presidents. But uh, so. I I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't. I mean, JFK had horse. Yeah. <laughs> All the time. We yeah. know that. Dude, yeah, no, he aimed high too. He had high end yes. escorts. <laughs> I, yeah, his remi- wife still that, was picking up his skull bits. That's fucking hilarious. He's a, fucking, he's a great president. It fucking remi- asshole. That reminds me of uh, <laughs> Bill, George Carlin's joke about uh, Bill Clinton. Oh it's yeah. It's like, uh, what is it? He said JFK. You know, because people were comparing Bill Clinton to JFK. Like JFK aimed high. He had movie stars. He had Marilyn Monroe. Yes. Bill Clinton showed his dick to a government clerk. <laughs> I love that, it, that. I love that Chappelle skit when Bill Clinton was like, he just leaned out the door like, oh, oh somebody, oh, hey, you get in here. <laughs> like he really needed it. Oh, oh the president. <laughs> I mean, when? Uh, all right. No, I can't go. I'm not going to go. There. Don't, don't go there. <laughs> no, no, we're not going to go there. We're not. We're not uh, going to go awful. there. It's awful. Men in power are horrible. <laughs> yeah, seriously, they're terrible fucking people, man. <laughs> but um, horses are terrible people, Lois. <laughs> but chickens, chickens are good people. Ah, uh, yeah. Why is it when it's a chicken, it's an omelet, but when it's a human, it's an abortion? <laughs> <laughs> that's a reversal of a George Carlin joke. I'm not going to sit there and claim that I made that up. Like, no, that, <laughs> that's that's, that's totally a George Carlin joke. Like, he he goes, uh, cause I love George Carlin. He's, he's like, amazing. He's like, uh, why is it when it's a human, it's an abortion, but when it's a chicken, it's an omelet? So, yeah, you know, chickens are good. De- chickens are decent people. <laughs> decent folk and, and tasty. But, well, yeah. So, we, um, there's been a little bit of a rumor that's, what, semi-confirmed about Venom? Oh, you, you, yeah, yeah. You were telling um, me about that. So, it, it is, and I'm taking, obviously, we don't get any of these stories. We're just seeing stories on the internet and stuff. Yeah, uh, no, if we're, you check we're, out Collider, we're not insiders in any way, shape, or form. For a long time, John Schnepp's been completely like Spider Man's going to be in Venom. Fuck what they're saying. I believe it uh, is going to happen. So I guess the, just recently he's like, "No, I know for a fact he's going to be in Venom. I'm not going to tell you who or how or what they said, but I know." So I guess he clarified more later on in another show. Um, it's it may be just Peter Parker is going to be in the Venom movie, which is. Um, Amazing. This is cool, and, and paid by Tom Holland. Um, so, you know, right now, who knows? It, maybe it's not quite true. 
Uh, but if it is, it does link the Sony what the what they were you know we were probably gonna have to call the Sony Spider Verse or the Sony Movie Universe. Uh, brings right. it a little bit closer to Marvel. Uh, he's also convinced that the symbiote, at least possibly even uh, Venom, is going to be in uh, Avengers Four, right? Which would uh, be really cool. which would be awesome. Yeah. I, I think that it, the symbiote suit, since everything they talk about being that the next the next phase with uh, after Avengers Four is going to change a lot of stuff. I think the symbiote coming in Venom, including some of the Spider Man villains, right. that's a great way to turn it because you, obviously you don't have access to. Uh, the Fox stuff quite yet. Right, right. That stuff's it, by then I think they will cuz that movie won't come out until 2019. But a lot of that stuff's going to still be in planning, still be in writing, which I'm sure they have a lot of it written out and prepared beforehand. Right. Of but, course. No, you, I mean you something like yeah, that yeah. you got you got to make sure. Yeah, yeah, deals will be set. So I don't know. I'm I'm kind of looking forward to it. I'm really hoping I ho- I want to see I'd love to see Agent Venom in um a like a cap a, a, well if Captain America sticks around in that kind of setting right um it, it, give me anything man fuck I'm at this point I'd love to see them all together I mean as a huge Spider Man fan like the Venom and Spider Man rivalry is is like yeah oh my god how were they even thinking they were gonna do that without Spider Man yeah seriously I kept saying. you can't you can't you can't make a a uh, like I, I seriously don't think you can make a Venom movie without Spider Man. It's like making a Joker movie without Batman. Yeah, like, which they wanted to fucking do. Fuck you, DC. No, that's a terrible fucking idea. <laughs> you know, you, you don't do that. You, no. you just don't do that. Like, you, and there's so many iconic duos that that go along with that. Like, I could sit there and make comparisons to. But yeah, you don't make a Venom movie without Spider Man. Without Spider Man, like Spider-Man. you don't do it. Like you just can't, you can't do it. Like I think that maybe, and this is a this is a bit of a reach, but I think you could make like a Doc Ock movie without Spider Man. But I don't, you know. No, nah, like, I think I, like, that one's an... even more just because Doc Ock's not that interesting on his own. I will give them credit. You could do a Venom movie without Spider Man. You should not, probably can't do the first Venom movie without yeah. Spider Man. Yeah, that's my biggest issue with it. Like I would love to see later on. A Venom movie alone. And the fact that they've already confirmed, they just, Tom Hardy, I think, confirmed that Carnage is going to be in it. Right. That even more makes me go, no, you need Spider-Man at Um, least to acknowledge he exists. Yeah. You know, like, if you're going to have, like, Carnage and Venom fight, yeah, fine. Okay. That's what it's looking like it's going to end up turning Okay, fine. But, yeah, but you you still have to have Spider-Man, at the very least, cameo in it. To me, part of the big issue is a lot of Venom's power set comes from the fact that the symbiote first bonded to Peter Parker. Right. And took the spider DNA. That's why Venom shoots webs. That's right. why Venom yeah. um, is uh, immune to the spider sense. It's a lot of his ability set comes from that spider DNA and what, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, I mean, that's that's how it works. What Peter Parker had. I, it, that's why it was like, it was dumb. It's almost as dumb as the fact that DC wanted to do a Black Adam movie before doing a Captain Marvel Shazam movie. And then to do that without Captain Marvel, it's like, no, who the fuck cares about Black Adam if he's not fighting Shazam, Captain Marvel, whatever you want to call the character? I, I want to see two superpowered people punch themselves, punch each other in the face. Yeah, like, duh. You know, you, it's just, it's so, it's so weird. Like, some of the moves they're making yeah, these it's days. It's like, no, please let people who know this stuff write it and come up with it and let them do their job. Yeah, please. Uh, I don't know, man. And it, the, the switch of, uh, DC's um in who people in charge in DC. They've got a new general manager now or I don't know if that's that's his title. But he's over the the DC movies division right, now. Right. I'm one of the things they're talking about is uh, uh rumors and hints that a lot of that stuff's been canned and one of the things that's been canned is probably the Black Adam movie. Right. And a lot of like the the spin-off Harley Quinn and Joker shit, mm. most of that's probably dead in the water, which right. is fine with me, to be honest. I want them to do the big names first. I need to get those good. Right. But, which would be really nice. Yeah, yeah. Eh. Speaking of movies, uh, something we're both looking forward to just got its first oh, full-length yes. trailer. A Red Band trailer for... Super Troopers 2. Super Troopers 2. Cannot wait and, for this fucking movie. Oh, man. like it, It's one of those things that adds to the hype. Yeah. But you know it's going to meet the hype, and yeah, like, yeah. like like broken 
the first movie was one of those things that just came out of nowhere. Nobody knew what it was. Nobody knew what it was. And it became a, a cult classic. It's and a it was huge com- cult. It, yeah, it was completely unexpected that it would, too. Mm-hmm. And so we, everybody was clamoring for a sequel for years, man. Was it 17 years later? Mm-hmm. They've, they, they, they did a Kickstarter. They did it. No, Indiegogo. It was Indiegogo. Indiegogo. Well, well, they raised, what, $5.5 million or something. I said, we're doing this yeah. shit. And it's like, oh, I'm so glad. And that trailer, that trailer looks so amazing. I'm honest to God surprised at how much of a movie this looks like it is. Yeah. Considering the fact that it was in Indiegogo. I fully expect, like, I wanted this no matter what form it took. Oh, yeah. I fully expect it to be kind of like, not disappointed, but expect garbage. Mm. And it looks way above that. Like, even the first movie, for it being an indie film, yeah. you don't, I wouldn't expect it to have the quality that it did. And this movie looks to continue that, and it uh, it just looks fantastic. It's like ten seconds in; they're already doing a meow. Uh. Oh yeah, no, don't, like it, it, it really started with meow. It's like <laughs> what's going yes. on, meow? It's <laughs> so good. And then there's a point where you know you got two of them; they're dressed up as Mounties and they're speaking in French. Oh my god, dude! I cannot and then they're wait having an argument, and they're just they're just they're just saying random French they titles. They don't speak French, <laughs> obviously. Don't. There's fucking American tourists that are up there. They're fucking just. Oh, it was great. It was amazing. Like, don't you speak English? <laughs> they're just sitting there like like they're, yeah, they're just they're just saying like titles of things in French. <laughs> it's just like what is wrong with, with you guys? With an accent. Yeah, with an accent and it's oh, I I am personally exceptionally excited for this movie and it releases on the perfect day. It releases on 420 oh, yeah, of, of the course. year. So it's like it, it's amazing. So there we go. We got the red band trailer for <laughs> yep. that. I'm like I've watched it like five times now. I seriously uh-huh. have. Like I, I can't get enough of that, and I want yeah. the movie now. And no matter what, I'm gonna have that day off. Did I kick? I don't even remember if I kickstarted their indie Indiegogo. backed it. No, I, 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 I meant to. I thought, yeah, it was one of those things where I meant to. Yeah, and um, because I didn't have the money at the time it started, mm-hmm. and when I did get the money to, that I wanted to put towards it, I completely forgot about it. <laughs> that that had one of the coolest. Um, like maximum backer, I think it was like twenty five or fifty grand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You it got was... to keep the fucking squad car. Yeah, yeah. You got to be in the movie. You got to get. The, you got the. Didn't you get to drive the squad car in one of the scenes? And then you got to keep it. Yeah, it was something like that. It was. It and was it wasn't insane. fifty grand. It was like five hundred grand. Yeah, it was big. I it don't was think, huge. I don't think they, did they get that one to sell? I don't remember. I hope they did. I hope somebody like somebody with just money just fucking dropped it on that. Like, why not? Like, yeah. dude, if I had that kind of money, I would. I would want. Dude, if only just I had won the lottery before. <laughs> well, you know, we got to play the lottery to win. I know. You I know? don't play the lottery, so uh. that's going to be kind of difficult to win the lottery when you're not playing it. So. God damn it! If I had only bought Bitcoin <laughs> ten years ago, was it even around ten? Probably years ago? not. No, I don't if I would have come up with the idea of Bitcoin. <laughs> Luke, neither of us have the technical knowledge to do that. No, I don't know. I don't know. I've, we got to come up with the next thing. I mean, speaking of Bitcoin, though, I, I, I on one hand, like I love it. I mm. love that it's a thing. I love that it has the potential to be a really big thing. Mm. I fucking hate it right now that it's it's and a lot I, and a lot of people agree with me that it has skyrocketed the price of GPUs. So yeah. like, oh yeah, yeah. Like my dad is all right. I bought. I built a PC back in like 2012, guys. Um, mid-range specs for the time, but enough to play Skyrim on like decent uh, high settings, I believe, at the time. And there was a plan where I was supposed to move out of the city, go to somewhere else, and start a new life. And it never happened because I kind of got screwed over, which is another story and actually completely irrelevant. So I ended up staying here, but before I moved, I gave my dad the computer. Like, here, man, I'm moving. I don't need this. I gave him a computer, gave him a TV, gave him some other shit. I just didn't need it anymore. So um, ended up, didn't move. And my dad's been running the same PC for years now. Mm -hmm. Since I gave it to him, I'm like, he needs something better. So, you know, I recently upgraded. I switched to AMD, Ryzen 5, beautiful process, 1600, great. So I was going to take the old parts, throw RAM, video card, and a power supply in this computer and say, here you go, Dad. Yeah. All yours now. I don't need it. And the I was originally going to buy him a 1060 6 gig because it was like two, 200 bucks. It was super cheap. That same GPU is going for like three 400 now. I'm like, God, dude, yeah. I can't do that. Because uh, the build 
just a few just a few months ago when I first sized it up it was only going to be four hundred bucks. Now it's four hundred bucks for the GPU alone. Yeah. Not only that, RAM prices have spiked too, so it's a hundred hundred fifty bucks for what I was going to get them. So all in all, I'm looking at like seven hundred dollars now, and I'm yeah. like, I I know. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. It's it's the original machine spiked. didn't cost that much, so I'm like, so right now I'm just like, fuck, because I was going to get my dad this shit for Christmas, yeah. and now. I'm not going to be able to because I can't drop seven, eight hundred dollars on something like that right now. Yeah, it's crazy how like how quickly that stuff started building up too. Oh yeah, like I still remember when I was buying. I think when I bought my car, my new card. Well, not new card, but the nine seventy I got uh, last year. Um, I remember seeing in like a limit of like three. Yeah, on Newegg, and I was like, I mean, I you know, I I assumed oh well, they don't want people to resell them. And then I think I talked to you or I talked to somebody else about that. And they're like, no, dude, that's because they, they're sick and tired of selling all their products. To people were farming Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, no, that was me. Yeah, yeah. No, I remember. Yeah, I remember. I remember I like, that conversation. I told the fuck. And that, that was when you first heard of Bitcoin. Like, what the fuck yeah. is Bitcoin? I'm like, no, I think I had heard I had heard of it before then. I, right. It just never I never encountered it in my existence. OK, my mistake. then. I, yeah. But I yeah, it's a cryptocurrency. And it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a really nice concept. But it's also, I think, another something uh, else that's kind of negative that's going to actually hurt the market for it. And we're not going to turn into a Bitcoin crypto market podcast. Don't worry. There's plenty of those you can go find. Um, the fact that now there's a billion other cryptocurrencies that are starting uh, and constantly new ones are coming up. Yeah. It, that the, pe- the people calling for a crash, uh, eventually it's going to have to go and there's only going to be so many winners. Yeah. So many of those are going to crash out. So, um, on yeah. the on the related topic, though, mm-hmm. it was um, apparently announced recently today. Uh, today's the eighteenth, right? I have no idea what today is. Mm. Um, no, yesterday it was announced yesterday that Samsung is beginning the manufacturing of GDDR6 memory for your next video card. Nice. So, uh, what are we talking about there? Basically, much much faster RAM, uh, roughly double the speed. Now you're talking of, next gen. Are they going to replace what's in current cards with that? Yeah, they're going to replace basically. So when I buy my 1080 Ti, it'll have that. Maybe not your 1080 Ti. Yeah, but because uh, they're ramping I don't up. Wait that long. They're ramping up production basically, and okay. uh, so you're you're probably not going to see um, it like soon. Mm-hmm. But we'll see it maybe within the next year where video cards are going to be popping up with GDDR6, which okay. is faster by, um, like I said, roughly double or roughly double the speed. You're looking, you're looking from <sighs> nine gigabits of transfer per second to up to eighteen, which mm-hmm. is mind blowingly fast. Yeah, like in terms <laughs> of internet speed, you are looking at like downloading the entire Netflix cat- catalog in like a day. Yeah. You know, just terabytes of data, just fucking down. Oh, that's gonna! I can't wait till they start developing with those cards in mind. Yeah, like uh, two or I, three years from now, I just can't wait to have one. Yeah, if I can afford it in a couple of years. Now, are they? Are we talking? Those are going to be like Titan prices when they do come out. I mean, there's going to be Titans in them, but at, at the level, I mean, Samsung's one of the leaders of, of flash memory. Yeah. So, I mean, they're not going to be any more expensive than they've been in the past. So, like. 1080 Ti released at seven eight hundred dollars, the top and that's the top end card. You're, you can, as long as uh, prices aren't spiked because of Bitcoin mining and shit, you can <laughs> expect it to be around the same. Okay, that's not bad. So, I can, I mean, see, I can deal with that. The thing even, is, the even thing the is super expensive. The thing cars. is just fucking getting them. Yeah. So I mean, and I gotta be honest with you, dude. If I if I if I had the money, I would totally start mining Bitcoin. Yeah. And and we've discussed it before where I've considered taking that old GTX 660 and just just starting to mine. Mm. In fact, I've since I'm not going to necessarily be able to buy my dad what I want to buy him, I've actually considered taking the computer I was going to give him, putting the 660 in it, and just setting it up to mine. Yeah. You know, because, I mean, you know, just buy some cheap cheap RAM, throw it in there, and let it go. But, eh, whatever. Yeah, I don't know anything about mining it. All I know is it takes a lot of power and a lot of... Power, yeah, because you're talking basically running your computer at 100 percent capacity for all day, 24 yeah. hours a day, which is why you know the more video cards you can throw in, the better, and all that shit. So mm-hmm. that's why people have the whole farms that just strip down computers to their base components 
just to do mm-hmm. Bitcoin mining. And you have like like machines that are special built to have like 30, 40 PS- PCI Express lanes that just have eight fucking video cards working <laughs> in tandem. Jesus Christ. Oh, well, I'm, I, I, I'll go with the investing route for right now. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I'm I fine can, with uh, that. Uh, do a little bit. I have thought about it though. And I really have, but now nah, I'm good. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna just hold off right now and uh, see what happens. But I I did sign up for Coinbase this morning, so oh, okay. there's that. All right, so I think we're gonna go ahead. Actually, and wind I just it down. got my first Bitcoin. Oh, nice! That I just uh, I bought the other day. I'm gonna invest it when I figure out how to do that and what to do. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> I got a friend of mine helping me, so we're gonna go ahead and wind down there though. Um, yeah. We do have some some things to s- announce though. We have a Patreon Ooh, yeah, yeah, now. Yeah. So if you know if you like what we're doing here, you want to help us, support us, you know, go to patreoncom slash geeks, Throw us a buck. Yep. I mean, any little bit will help. And yeah. uh, right now, we're really just hoping. Uh, we're just trying to make it so the we can do this at, at cost. I guess is the best way. Yeah. No. Like basically, we we um, Luke and I split the cost on the hosting here, so it's around forty bucks a month. And our yeah. Our only real goal, the only thing we really want to do is break even on that front. Yeah. And uh, we already got somebody, you know, who shout out to, uh, I'm not sure how to say his name, Pyrodoa Rupert. He was mm-hmm. our first Patreon. He's given us five bucks. It's fucking awesome. Thank Rupert. you. And um, Thank you, sir. You know, so yeah, go, go on Patreon, throw us some, throw us some money. Yeah. Uh, this year, though, we do we are planning on expanding out a lot yes. of the content we're producing. Like, we're not just going to be a podcast. You know, the, the best way to do things to diversify, get uh, things out there. So, you know, keep an eye on our YouTube channel. We're going to be throwing up dumb videos eventually. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to be doing some li- uh, streaming on Twitch, you know, yep. Luke and I individually and uh, together. The multiplayer streams we'll be doing, uh, they will pop up on the Ungodly Geeks channel. My individual streams will pop up on my own channel. And uh, you guys just, you know, keep an eye out. We're going to be We're going to be doing some fun shit this year. Yep. And we're gonna, uh, pay we're attention. Gonna... I'm sure we'll post oh, all yeah. of that stuff to the like the web page, Facebook. I mean, the, the website is where I'm going to post all the news. Yeah. So, uh, and that'll auto post to Facebook and Twitter. So make sure to just keep an eye out for things. Follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Mm-hmm. You know, both of them are ungodly geeks. And uh, you know, if you're an iTunes listener, give us some ratings. Ratings yeah, yeah, yeah. really ratings, really help out. Ratings make uh, all the difference in the world. Like yeah. if you don't. If you listen to even just a part of the episodes, don't want to take the time to leave a review or anything, just give it a rating. Just Real quick, star up. two seconds. Dude, one star, five star, three stars, yeah. it doesn't matter. Just give us give us a little something. And if you got friends who you know, might enjoy us, share us with them. Let me just yeah. make them aware that we're there. You know, and just, just give us some love, man, because... Spread the word a little bit. We totally need it. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. We're trying to we're trying to be entertaining, and uh, it, it's for us. It's fun, and we enjoy doing it. So yeah, no, yeah. it's. I mean, this is definitely a labor of love, mm. and uh, if if we can if we can turn it into something more full time, where we're able to produce more and better content, and get to a point where we don't like honestly straight up, if we don't have to work, that'll be amazing. Yeah, if this can become my job or career that would be the greatest thing in the world and you know and the more time we're able to devote the better and we can definitely produce better content so there you go guys go to our patreon throw us a buck a month (laughs) and that'll help us out immensely give us some ratings on itunes yep share the youtube videos around share the pages around we got a trailer up on our youtube channel it's dumb as (laughs) shit it's just a little clip from a twitch stream we had and it's hilarious, and it's going to basically represent what we're gonna we're gonna build out and become. Yeah. So, for the ungodly geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. And you guys have a good day. And See remember, you. fuck EA. Oh yeah, Capcom too. And Konami. Yeah.